So what we have here is a, I'm doing them quick. Yeah. So what we have is a, a 2.5 mil uh, metric Allen. And what we do is we want to loosen the, uh, the clamps for the, uh, the flash lamp on each side. What you want to avoid as you do this is any object falling in there. You do not want anything to fall in there and damage the head. Notice an O-ring right there. Okay. Now sometimes you may feel more comfortable doing this with uh, latex gloves on. In fact, if this is the first time you're ever doing this, I recommend you do that. Wear latex gloves so that way you are not putting your fingerprints on anything. Now notice right now that the lamp is wanting to come out without any any uh... Oh, this one is loose. It's that's really loose. The older one needs to push. That's right. Yeah. And that's typical. But this this one, is not typical right now. Okay, has no leakage. Uh, so what you want to do is just slide the lamp out and this is your lamp here. You want to make sure that you are not touching the glass with your fingers because your oils from your fingers will um, decrease the lifetime of the lamp. If you do get oils or you do touch it with your finger, just wipe it off with methanol. You'll be fine. Now, there is a little, you may note, like right in here, there's a little bit of white sputtering that's starting to occur on the lamp. As the lamp ages, it'll start migrating from the negative end towards the center, okay? And that's how you kind of note the degradation of the lamp. It's just barely starting to happen there, all right? So there is a mark, the positive and the negative. That's right. There's then typically then a there's positive mark right there. You can see it in the glass. It's like right there. And you have to look real close. Typically, you have some red dots on the one. But that's we don't do that anymore. Okay. All right. So, uh, so you sure. usually there's a positive right there in the glass. But the one way to, to know what the negative is is you see that little dimple right there in the glass. Mm -hmm. That's the pinch off for the xenon when they were uh, filling this up with xenon gas. So that's where they pinch off and seal the glass. So this is basically removing a flash lamp. Uh, note that the flash lamp has uh, uh, a washer and a O-ring and that's on both sides. And just note that this one over here has fallen out. So it'll basically just slide on like that, all right? So now we're going to replace the lamp and make sure that you've got the correct polarity, okay, which we do. You just slide it in. This, we're, this is, we're pretending this is the brand new lamp, right? And then what you'll want to do is use a blunt object to poke and set the, uh, the O-ring in there. Make sure that you know, you're cradling this in a fashion that won't allow the uh, flash lamp to fall out and break on the table, all right? That'll be a $250 mistake that you, that the this professor, the professor will remind you of. All right, uh, you just slide the clamp back down, retainer, start tightening it up. This is really about a five minute process and I might be making a three minute video for it. So this is actually a pretty quick change. And that is how you change a flash lamp.